And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the 98 Nissan Stagia 260 RS Autech by KI5. Starting with the right-handed driving side, this is the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And moving on to the back of the vehicle, nice animation on the truck there. The maximum storage capacity here is a whopping 95, along with the roof rack on top with a maximum storage capacity of 81. Plenty of storage here for you boys. And under the hood, here's your information inside of this vehicle. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. Plenty to look at here, boys. And moving inside of the vehicle, nice animation on the door there. Here are your options as follows. We're gonna to want to start with the horn. That sounds like pretty much standard horn. Moving on. All right, boys, you know what comes next. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Brick and sweet, dude. And that is the right-handed driver's side of the 98 Nissan Stagia 260 RS Autec. But no, boys, we're not done yet. We have the left-handed driving side of the 98 Nissan Stagia 260 RS Autec. Front view, back view, side view for you guys. And under the hood, since everything else is pretty much the same as the first vehicle, here's your information inside of this vehicle. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And just like other KFI's mods, this mod includes extra parts you can find in the world or craft to make a fully protected vehicle. All right, boys, you know what comes next. Let's get these two cheeks in the seat and see how she runs. Oh, yeah, let's go, boys. And out of my driving experience, I've got to say this thing is a lot of fun. I didn't have much of an issue. The only issue I did have is going at high speeds and taking sharp turns. Definitely slow down a bit because you will smash into a lamppost like I did. And everything else was fine from the brakes, the handbrake, the speed got all the way up to 120, and the handling was not too bad. The only thing again was just the sharp turns at high speeds. And on the crash test, this thing is a beast, dude. I smashed into so many zombies, same vehicle I do every time, and that extra lamppost, this thing still came out to a 91.24% overall condition. That's pretty amazing after what I did to it. The only thing that was completely destroyed was the hood and the bumper. Everything else was in tip-top shape. I'd probably recommend to use the higher tiered armor, instead of the standard like I used because you'll probably get better numbers out of it. On my thoughts about this mod, I absolutely would use this in a playthrough. The extra storage and the top speed, I'm a fan of both of those things. So yeah, and I strongly recommend it to you guys. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and drag and smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next freaking mod showcase. Goodbye for now.